Hey, it's meteorologist Mike Chilinas, and um, another humid day in the valley on the southern edge of the Spring Range Mountains. Uh, we have a little shower that uh, developed, and already you could see, and this is what's kind of interesting, I thought I'd point it out today. You could see the um, anvil kind of blew off to the left. So in other words, that's where the winds are a little stronger in the upper layers of the atmosphere. Uh, it's not that high up. I mean, the top on that thing's probably less than 10,000 feet. But it just does not have the updraft strength. In other words, the air that's being sucked into the thunderstorm that travels vertically, it doesn't have enough of an updraft strength to continue. And the second the rain starts falling down that updraft, it chokes the storm off, and then you just sort of see the little ice crystals bend out towards the left, and that's what you see with this storm. But if I walk out a little further to the right, you could see another developing top right next to it. And this is typically what happens. Uh, another updraft is being born, and you could see it bubbling up, but already the edges on it are very diffuse. They're not really sharp. So when you see these sort of soft edges on that little bubble to the right. That means it's not much of a updraft and it's weakening quickly and that's not going to amount to much either. When you can see very very sharp curls uh, almost what looks like a big old uh, ball of cauliflower up there that's when the storm is really really growing and could develop into something interesting. But there's glaciation up there, which means that there's ice in the cloud, and that's enough to uh, produce rainfall uh, out over the mountains right now. But that's a look early this morning in the valley. We'll check back with you later this afternoon.